What's up guys? I'm back here with another guide on how to play Kane. Um, this time I'm doing flex by myself again. So, basically first things first, I like to play Kane with a uh, domination and precision as it's secondary, so I run electrocute, sudden impact, uh, I like to run zombie ward, some people like to do eyeball collection, and then afterwards um, I will take relentless hunter just because I like the movement speed. And I do plan on playing him blue cane this time. They don't really have that big of tanks. So first off, this is like what I usually build on blue cane. Here's my build path for red cane. This is kind of like optional, like maybe I'll build thorn mail or whatnot. So anyways, I'll start out with a hunter's talisman, refillable, and um, just a warding trinket. And I like to start uh, doing the raptors. Sometimes you can start bot lane depending on what you need. But personally, I believe starting with... You know, Raptors gives you a little bit better options. Um, so they're invading me right here. And I don't know why they're invading a Blitzcrank, but it seems like they're going to get it off. So, hmm. make sure that they're okay. I'm just kind of dancing around here. I don't really want to fight. Oh, nice pull Blitz. Okay, but can we follow up? No, we can't. Okay. So, we're going to start here on blue, or my Raptor still. So now that we see what they're starting, I feel like Wukong loses the Jace early on, so he should be okay. Um, Rengar, Rengar bursts me pretty hard, but we're going to try to get a lead on him anyways. LeBlanc, I never gank LeBlancs. Um, it is really hard. And Twitch Leona, we'll probably get, camp them a lot, but we'll see. So when you start here, I like to auto the Raptor. And then I'll queue through it like this, and then I like to auto attack again, but you'll see. So I wait, E, auto, kind of kite it back a little bit, and then I just run it straight down. Kind of loop back, and then kind of mess that up a little bit, but that's okay. So you can E through here, start, auto, queue through it. And I like to kite it into the bush, because I'm going to queue back through it anyway, so it's not like it's really like wasting any of your time. Um, yeah, so you don't really need to pop a pot here either. Just Q through it, auto, it's my, boom. Not the clearest, or cleanest clear I've done. Um, maybe I'll fix it up in another video for you guys, but we'll see. So I just E through here. I like to auto the wolf, and then just Q through them all again. And I like to clear the wolves, um, just because they do a lot of damage. I'll pop a pot here as well, just in case. And you just keep kiting. So my bot lane's taking a lot of damage. Um, I hope that they're gonna win this. But if not, we're gonna go down there and clean it up for them. Twitch Leona should win early on. Kaisa's kind of a late, or like a mid to late scaling champ. Alright. So I'm still kind of low and I'm not like I want to gank bot lane and I see Rengar's top because they just pinged it. So instead I'm going to stall out really quick and I'm just going to play low. Alright, they caught that. So, awesome. So in this situation, Rengar's still top lane. So we're going to kind of come in here. I know he can't clear Raptors because he doesn't have any strong AoE. Auto attack this. Line it up. Go through him. Boom. Nice, easy, clear. Okay? Kite back a little bit, you through, boom. Now we just counter jungled his. Oh, we're gonna actually go in for a gank right here. So I assume that she doesn't have her W. Um, but assumptions are like you're at worst enemy. She's dead. Nice job. That was really greedy of her. So now that I've done that, I still see Rengar's top lane. Um, and he only has 12 CS, which means that he hasn't done this Karx. Especially since I know, like, he started red, probably not red, wolves, blue. So we're gonna just kinda come through, counter jungle him, make sure he doesn't get any of his XP. As if you guys have seen my other video, you know that counter jungle is really important. And in case you guys are wondering, the, um, I think I'm still gold 2 in flex, but I'm currently 
D5, about 56 LP, I believe, in solo queue. So, just in case you guys were wondering. At this point, I'm probably just going to clear this ramp and um, go back and buy items. I'm pretty much, like, really set. I have a kill, some really good farm, done some counters on the way. Alright. So now that I like to go blue cane, you basically want to get 3 points in your queue by the way, and then max W. Um, in this situation, I'm almost 6, so I'm going to do this. Um, actually we're going to do mobility, the pink ward. So Wukong is level 4, he's going to kill up on Jace. Jace is farming pretty well though, given everything. And I want you to take note that this Wukong has a pink ward, so always just take note like when you see la enemy laners with pinks um, especially like top or mid and then like when you're going for a gank just check it and if they don't have it in their inventory you have to assume that it's somewhere and that that they're gonna be able to see you when you gank so what I'm thinking here is I'm gonna drop this pink ward probably in this bush right here just so I can see Rengar um, if he tries to gank anywhere so I let these kind of come in. I don't know what that bird was doing. That's why I live, but oh well. I'm gonna kite back, I'm gonna chuck a potion. Q through. So there's a zombie ward there, okay. I'm gonna drop this pink right here. And I like to ward right here just in case. I don't like to get cheese. So I saw that he was fighting and I'm just gonna go in. I honestly thought that that was the clone until like I saw I could have swore she was using a spell like what is she doing I don't know but whatever more kills more for me right gets you closer to that blue buff and when you're like deciding like what form you're going on I just think red form when there's like a bunch of tanks on their team or like I need to be a really big front line but when they're all squishy like this like you can go blue can so Wukong's probably gonna commit here so we're gonna make sure that he doesn't die in vain. <laughs> Had to make sure I smited or got that um that kill. So what I like to do just just to ensure like if he flashed earlier I smited and if you didn't notice that so that I would have the damage on him so I could always follow up with the ult which is how I was able to like even if I missed the QW basically. And at this point, like, I'm shoving this wave in to deny the Wukong the, the, the experience. Um, especially since it doesn't have TP. That way it also will push, end up pushing back towards Jace at this point. And like I said, you're going to max your W second at this point. So clear this to make sure that there's no vision. Always a good idea so you can see, like, if they have any, like, vision on you when you're trying to counter jungle. And it's also good just to make sure you're not wasting your time in the lane. So bot lane is pushed up right now, but it's still Twitch Leona. It's really hard to gank them, but like take note, like this guy rushed boots. So I already know he's not very good. Um, and that he's really behind. <laughs> Most ADKs build boots when they don't know what they're doing instead of building damage, and that just puts them even farther behind, in my opinion. So kind of like just power farming at this point. Wukong might be looking to fight this Jace right now, so I'm just gonna end up backing right here though. I'm not in any position to like go help him. He might, if he has ult, Wukong could probably turn this. Oh, all right. So we're gonna try to help him out. I don't think there's anything we can do in this situation though. Yeah, unfortunate. And they saw me, so maybe does he have his ward still? Still has that pink ward. So I know that like this isn't warded. LeBlanc might try to face check me here. I'm not quite sure though. We'll see. Unfortunate. Q over. I'm just gonna let it go. I was gonna smite, but Rengar might be there. That's what you gotta have to, like. I haven't seen him, and I don't want to deal with a fed Rengar. 
There he is. Level 6 though. Okay. So I'm 3-0 and, and I still have a lot of gold. I'm just clearing these because I don't want Rengar to like counter jungle me at this point. Uh, 42 to CS to 63. We're pretty much like stomping this game as well, which is good. I'm actually going to come gank her. Ward this, make sure. Okay, auto, W, Q through. Easy. Like, as you get more items, like, you just basically, like, one-shot these raptors, and it's such a good feeling. Alright, now, I'm gonna stop being greedy, and I'm actually gonna spend this gold, and then we're gonna, like, close this game out. We could have, could have waited. Let me know they were doing that. Oh, well. So, I'm gonna finish my warrior. Um, and when I go blue king, I like to build mobies. It's just a good idea. Um, and since I've been doing a lot of counter jungling, I'm actually going to pick this up, because I just, it's so freaky. Especially like when the enemy junglers don't know what they're doing, and he's running Dark Harvest, like, if you're, if you play against people with Dark Harvest, just invade them, and try to deny as much CS as possible, like, it denies them from getting their souls, and this guy's only 34 souls, so he's not even... Like, that, like, well off. So, let's see. I'm actually gonna go rotate down, and I'm gonna go get that, those Groms. Krugs, Krugs, sorry. Actually, we could probably kill this guy right here. No. Alright. So they see me. This ward right here, just to make sure. So now that I know that Twitch is there, I'm just gonna smite this really quick. I want the I just want the camp. For the for the poacher's knife. And they made it nice so it doesn't even have a cooldown anymore, so you can pretty much like free free, freely get these. I'm waiting for smite right here before I go in. So I if if she was good she would have W'd away, but that's why like you save your, you wait for your smite. Um and you can follow her with your ult. But, you know. As soon as she didn't dodge my Q, I knew. There might be Rengar in this bush, let's see. No. I don't know if he has ult. So, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, he just committed. He's dumb. So that's why we run um, Triumph as well. If if I was really like worried, I had ult to dodge that turret shot, and he would have died anyways. But yeah, calculated, right? <laughs> as long as it sounds like we're calculated, that's all that matters. All right, so I'm actually not gonna be able to do this. Unfortunate. Might be. Let's see. Yeah, just cut it out. Cool. So line these up. Q through them. Easy. Alright. Let's go back and get Shadow Cade. Rest in peace. He's having a bad time too. <laughs> Second game today, I've just made the enemy jungler have a bad time. Shadow Cane. I love Shadow Cane. It is so, like, busted, in my opinion. And once again, like, if you guys are trying to climb in ranked, I think Kaisa is broken. Like, I think that they need to be perma banned because they just once they get ahead, like it is impossible to like shut them down. So if you're looking for a per current meta ban, Kaisa is pretty good. Um, yeah. So second off, when I once I finish maxing my W, I like to go E second. I feel like three points in Q is enough, and just. Having enough like movement speed in your E, lower cooldown, more heal, it's just overall just like a better feeling. So other than like I boosted that up, I was really trying to finish that that twitch off before he flashed over the wall and then I was trying to ult Leona to get away from the Rengar but then like 
Oh well, I just kind of messed that up a little bit. Sorry guys, but you know what? It's okay, I can die once, right? We're all human. So, I really need to finish this, this poacher's dirt. So, basically instead of um, finishing this item, I can buy a serrated dirt here. And we'll reuse it. Um, we'll reuse the, the serrated dirt that we're gonna get from either. Well, we'll either reuse this dirt that I just bought, or we'll use the poachers or serrated dirt that we get from the poachers dirt to finish into a Yomu's next. If the game goes that long, it's pretty much a stomp. Every lane one bud Jace, and I mean, I don't really see an issue coming from them. Every corpse <laughs> Hopefully there's... Yeah. So when you see an enemy jungler with this serrated dirt, like... Or poacher's dirt. So many dirts. All you need to really do is just make sure you're on your camps. Don't let them get an opportunity to get it. Like, everything should be, like, earned and not given. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and... Alright Jace, you're just kind of screwing me here, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know what? I just am a boosted monkey with a boosted monkey at this point. So be it. I died to Twitch Poison. That's, that's a feels bad moment. Alright Blitz, I see you. He's dead. Kong got us. No, he went Yomu's first item. Interesting. Alright, so. I see that Rengard is dead. He's 1 and 4. There's nothing. Like, I could go top lane and try to clean up the. The Gromp. And I know his wolves are probably it, but I'm actually gonna go get this dragon. Um. Objectives are pretty much key to winning games at this point. And you should always prioritize your objectives over, like, getting kills or just, like, the small stuff. Like, any way that you can, like, close out a game as fast as possible is what you really need to take advantage of. And I say prioritizing o ocean drakes, earth drakes, and even, like, the, like, especially the fire drakes, actually. Um, like, they just help you close out the game, basically. I'm not gonna go for Herald this game, or at least... I'm probably going to go for it, but like, I don't mean... It's really hard to prioritize objectives as Kane, in my opinion, without the team. Even if you're, like, super ahead. Just because, like, you're not meant to do these things by yourself. Like, you're just meant to pick people and have your team go for them. So, especially since, like, my AD carry and my supporter here, like, we're good. Dodge that up. Smite. I would normally give my top lane to this, because they're always split pushing, but... He's pretty much a boosted animal, so... <laughs> okay, there's a cane. And a Wukong, let's see. Okay. Next. We are just chasing. Okay, let's go get this twitch. Waiting on my cooldown before I actually like flash engage maybe. They got her, so I'm gonna go find this twitch. Okay, well if I can't find the twitch, I'm taking that kill. And then I'm gonna make sure I get this because I need to serrate a dirt proc. Ooh, nice old. All right, so this is gonna get me my my yo moves hopefully. And then I'm gonna bring this wave up because we're gonna crash this before they get to it. So I'm gonna I crash. You basically just shove it into tower so that they can't get the CS. 
mean, it denies their AD carry, like, realistically any chance of, like, getting... Getting the CS. And since he's right here, I'm just gonna dive him. Let him hit me. It's fine. Alright, maybe not with the Leona here. Mm. Okay, bye, Wu. So if that Wu was smart, he would have saved his W, or, sorry, his E, to war and warded over the wall and d went after me that way, and then I would have been forced to fight him as opposed to, like, run. So... Yeah. This is pretty much a stomp at this point. I'm gonna go back, buy my Yomus. So, with Yomus and bo Boots of Mobility, you're pretty much, like... Like, on speed. <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um... Let's see... I okay. When you're trying to engage, um, I basically will walk, like, try to flank behind them E and then Yomus. Um, just to go for their carries, and at this point, like, I'm gonna have to pick their Twitch before we fight, and, or the Wukong, because Wukong, in a team fight at this point, like, he's scaling, and if he, this stays, keeps up, like, we're not gonna be able to win this game, because we're not gonna be able to close. So I'm gonna ult right here, he flashed, and he knows he's dead, so. Yeah. You'll get to the point, like... You'll be able to use your cane ults, hopefully, to stick with people through jumps, dashes, flashes, all of the above, pretty much. It's all just just learning how to time stuff, and it it's pretty, like, BM when you do it, I think. It's kind of fun. It tilts a lot of people. <laughs> so, is he dead? Yeah. He's gonna kill that little block, I'm sure. Okay, I'm actually gonna go pick this wool once I get my ult. So, in my other videos, I've said that I don't really like doing Baron. Um, for, like, when you're level 13, this is why, like, you'll notice that, like, if we had anyone other than Kai'Sa, like, even then, we're still taking a lot of damage. Um, and if that Wukong came, like, he could have pretty much ulted and killed all of us. So everyone's going that way, and I, I noticed that there's a Leon over here, so I'm going to take care of her. Um, I'm going to ult right here. Close that gap. Come out. Finish off? Finish him off? Aw, oh, sad days. Sorry, Dill. Alright. So, let's see. Unfortunate. I don't know, let's see. They're not really building armor in this situation, but I'm still gonna finish this, um, Last Whisper. And then... I'm actually gonna sell my refillable for a stopwatch, just because it, I'm gonna build a GA next. I'm not gonna finish the Last Whisper into Lord Dom's or even a, um... Mortal Reminder, just because, like, once again, they're not building tanky. And they don't have a tanky person, like, that's building a stacking health on their team. Otherwise, that would probably be my next item. So. Get this Osh or Earth Dragon. And then I'm gonna head bot lane and close up. Actually, I'm gonna just skip this, and I'm gonna go save them. So in this situation, um... Let's see, are they gonna face check me? No? Or I'm gonna flank behind them. I left that pink ward there, I saw that. Zed now walks in okay, Zonya's that. Okay, game's over. So, Wukong's still- actually, yep, there it is. We're actually gonna go this way. Did he ignite me? Or did Swain ignite? Who ignited? He had to have ignited me, I heard that. Interesting. So, that's pretty much, um... 
Yeah, unfortunate. I just misplayed that. Ghost Blade Wukong. OP. It's pretty much game though. I, did, I didn't really play that great this game. Um, but that's hopefully how you understand like how to play Kane's early game or mid to late game. Ideally, you're just looking for picks if you're playing Shadow Kane. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the gist. But let's just get out of this game first before we uh, wrap this video up. So, when you guys get down to this point where you are trying to close out a game, I always like to just take note that we have two inhibs open on their base. If we just grouped bot lane, like, we're fed. Like, we could try a team fight, but if we just, like, force them to come bot lane, like, I guarantee you, like, we win the fights. Alright, I can't burst her, so... Okay, there's that. So you notice how I use my Q there to dodge her ult? Okay, gotta stall this out. Okay, there's that. So Wukong just wasted his ult trying to kill me there. Um, and he pretty much just threw his, like, he just died. Okay, I got him. Smite! Okay, I'm gonna run through the wall after him. Alright. So I hope you liked how I used that ultimate, um, to dodge the Wukong. And you just sit through, sit in there, and like, they'll, like, some people will try to like, CC chain you out. Basically, you just gotta outplay them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you didn't, you know what to do, leave a dislike. But if you did, hopefully you'll subscribe and leave a like down below. Uh, if you want to see a different champion played, leave a comment. And um, I'll try to give you guys, you know, what you need to know for that champion in the jungle. So just a quick follow-up. Here's the damage dealt. Um, Kai'Sa did pretty well. Swain definitely did a lot of damage, actually. And then Wukong was the most on their team. Um, so anyways, have a great day, guys.